My name is Chase Roberts, born and raised in Central Florida. I, uh, I played soccer many, many years. That's a big hobby of mine. And I, uh, I love playing music, guitar, piano. I've played lots of instruments. I, uh, I'm big on uh, everything that has to do with recovery medicine. I made a series of young guy decisions that inevitably lead to you learning tough lessons. And uh, started out with a, uh, you know, a minor, you know, early 20s alcohol problem that most kids have. Um, but uh, I ended up crashing my car, uh, slightly under the influence, not, but still. And uh, I flipped it nine or ten times, uh, flatlined in the ambulance a couple times, broke my neck, many, many ribs, uh, lost most of the skin on my face. Uh, and then 14 months later, I decided that I'd do it again. Uh, so I broke my neck again in the same intersection. I was rushed to the hospital and they immediately told me that, you know, you know, I was sitting there with my mother and tears in her eyes, she asked if I'd ever walk again. And the doctor said, he'll probably never even pick his nose again. And about six days later, I wiggled a toe. And they rushed me to a, um, a brand new facility in Orlando Regional. I spent two and a half months there working with some of the greatest therapists that I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And, um, you know, once you get past that point of inpatient, you know, you do your first few months of outpatient, get help, which I did. I did walk out of the facility my inpatient with a lot of help <laughs> but uh, I did walk out two months later on my own strength and um, it wouldn't it wasn't actually exactly looking normal you wouldn't see me walking and be like that's a normal guy right there <laughs> uh, but uh, you know there was there's a lot of work that comes with that even with you know somebody like me that has the hunger to go out and find it find the knowledge that can help you heal, help you get to that next level. And, uh, you know, outpatient rehab is only a part of that. And, you know, I, I, uh, I couldn't really find exactly what I was looking for in my area. All right, so there's these two really great guys named Justin Lewis and Dr. Joe Kramer, who I fell in love with the moment I met them because there are very few people that match my energy level. And these guys just meet me there and took me under their wing and helped me out in a way uh, that I just can't even explain to you how much it meant to me. Because my, my aunt just happens to be in the right networking circles, lives here in Dallas, and she met up with some people at, uh, I think it's 180, they do the injections and stuff, and they knew Justin, who knew Joey, and you know, I, I got met up with those two guys, and they immediately were excited to work with me because they knew I was ready to come in and do everything that I could. My uh, diagnosis is a little unique because uh, I have what's called brown Sacard syndrome, which means the right side of my body is going to be different than the left side of my body. Um, I have a lot of sensation on my left side, whereas I have much better motor movement on my right. Um, when I first started seeing, uh, before I started seeing Dr. Joey, uh, I had a lot of problems with internal uh, body temperature control because uh, my body just, you know, this side would be different from this side and I would never, my brain just couldn't figure out how to find the even keel to make me feel comfortable. I'd be sweating over here and cold over here and that's just a really weird scenario. Um, I was probably uh, making bowel movements once a week and that was, that was a big part of it right there because, uh, you know, I couldn't start to heal properly and still until I'm getting all the bad out. 
all the used nutrients need to get out so you can get new ones in. Um, so bowel movements is, you know, that was probably the biggest issue. But uh, there's also, you know, sensation issues that I've had on my right side and uh, control issues that I've had on my left. Well, it felt weird. <laughs> Um, but uh, after laying down in those super comfy chairs, you know, it gave me a minute to sit there and think about my body and really pay attention to what it was doing. And I think the type of chairs that you use, the way that it takes the weight off of certain areas of your body makes you able to focus on that better. And uh, almost immediately, maybe 10, 15 minutes after the adjustment, I was able to control my left hand better. Um, I could feel further down on my right leg, uh, you know, the because I, I still had almost no sensation in my right leg at all at this time. And immediately I was able to feel, you know, the, from the extent of the top of my thigh where it had stopped to pass my knee a few inches. And it was just, you know, my, my mother teared up because she was so excited and just it was a powerful moment to see this is something that I'm making, I'm going the right direction with this. This is what's going to help me. This is what's going to get me to where I need to go. My biggest change was weight gain. I was severely underweight and you know uh, being able to use the bathroom on a regular basis made me able to control my body a little bit more and know, all right, if I put this in, it's going to come out in a certain amount of time and I can put, you know, more nutrients in and more nutrients in to get the right things. And, you know, I'm, I'm up to probably two, three times a day now from once a week. So I don't even think about it anymore. And that is what's the best is when you have issues that you no longer have to even think about anymore. I, uh, I really, I gained, you know, 30 pounds, put on muscle, weight, everything, just, and a lot of that was because my body could react to what I was trying to get it to do. You know, I, I was able to feel uh, almost down to my ankle by the time I left, and right now I can feel my whole foot. Uh, I, uh, I have much more control on my left side, and the healing that has come through with just making me able to control my internal body temperature is so beneficial because you know you get those cold sweats or something sometimes that just make you feel like you just don't want to do anything and it's hard to get up and exercise and recover when you know that's the hardest thing to do you know it's going to help you but you just don't have the strength and you really gave me that you gave me the the strength to get up and work my way to a better self. I would tell them that if they've not seen an upper cervical doctor yet, then they're wasting their time because I was helped by so many issues that I didn't even know I had because, you know, you get one thing in line, and the rest of it goes in. And, you know, Dr. Joey said that many times to me and I was like, man, this guy is so passionate about it. There's got to be some truth to it. And there was. It was, it, was, uh, it was really great to have that. And anybody who wants to find their better self, you know, anybody who's in pain, anybody who's having issues with these type of things, you know, they need to be seeing somebody like you because any other time that they're doing something is not making themselves better and they're going the wrong way. I have. I, uh, I bought an O2 Camry uh, a few weeks back and you know as soon as I got the piece of paper that says that I could drive I froze up a little bit because I had been all talk until that point <laughs> so I had to put up or shut up kind of thing but uh, yeah driving uh, you know it, it's it's easier now because you know I've, I've, I've actually gotten more rotation out of my neck because it's in the proper alignment. And you know, before I was maybe able to look down at my collarbone 
and now I can look at each shoulder all the way. And that's just not a thing that I ever thought I was going to do again. It may not be the same for everybody, but shooting shit with you was the best. They're all sitting there talking about our silly Monty Python movies that we like and sitting in those, the, the chairs was really nice. You know, after you get this adjustment that just, it feels strange. You know, if you're not used to it, it feels like uh, it's almost similar to a little bit of a daze. You know, you just kind of, whoa. But, you know, you, you get that little shock to your system and then you relax in these chairs that are perfectly designed to just cup your body like, like a little baby. And it is just the most comfortable stuff. I've fallen asleep there many times. <laughs>